Good morning, Hawks. Today is December 2nd. You asked for it, and you got it. I'm back. Just kidding. No one asked for it. But I do miss doing this. Anyways, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving break, because guess what? POLs are around the corner. Yeah! All right, today is the International Day for the Abolition of Slavery, because slavery is it's wrong. Get the, sel get the selfies of you and Mr. Sharman in. Email them to bdowdy15 at lvcp.org or astory at lvcp.org, hashtag selfie. There will be a special performance at 1 p.m. on December 6th through 8th by the LVCP band slash jazz students. A percentage of the profits will go back to the school, so come support them. It's Barnes & Noble's at Dublin. A uh, new LVCP literary and art blog is being created by students. We need students to submit their writing, stories, poems, etc., and artwork to be displayed and shared on the blog, which will be made available to the LVCP community. Submissions should be sent to aludwig at lvcp.org, and students should contact uh, Andre Ludwig or Hannah Halleck, Andrea Ludwig or Hannah for more info. Hey guys, make sure you check out the upcoming fundraiser featuring Mr. Lim's class on December 7th at Barnes & Nobles in Dublin. Livermore Public Library will... Oh, I said that already. All right. Livermore Public Library will present the workshop Scholarship Success this Wednesday, December 2nd from 4 p.m. to 5.30 or 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the Civic Center Storytime Room. This workshop is offered to all high school students. Now on to announcements. Hi, Ms. Brown. Hey, Mr. Dean. Hey, so um, we're here to tell you guys about digital portfolios. We love digital portfolios. We do, do love digital portfolios. And specifically, um, when you create a digital portfolio, you're going to need two things that you're going to add for every project that you put on your digital portfolio. What are those two things, Ms. Brown? Well, first of all, you need an artifact. So the thing that you actually need, maybe you did an art piece and you want to take a picture of it or upload a digital piece of art. Maybe you created a video, mm -hmm. upload the video. The second thing you need to have is a description of what that project was about and what you are showing us on your portfolio. Very true. Those are the two things. An artifact, a video, a picture, a document, something like that, and then a quick little description. You're going to put that on your digital portfolio. Wow. Well, um, how many things, how many projects, how many descriptions should we have for our digital portfolio, Ms. Brown? You should have lots by this point. We're lots. here in the second quarter already, mm -hmm. so by now you should have at least one project for every class. Yes. Um, on your digital portfolio, mm -hmm. on the left-hand side, all your class periods show up, one through seven, mm -hmm. and you should have something, a project, and a blurb for every class. Yeah, because we're kind of midway through our second quarter, you probably should have a, let's say for period one, you would have a project that you've already put up for period one, and then probably we're doing a project right now that you're getting ready to finish up for quarter two, so we're going to want to put both of those on there. So by the end of the semester, you'll have two projects for every class on your digital portfolio with not only a picture or a movie or something like that, but also a little written component. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Why? So, why? Why do we have to do a digital portfolio? That's an excellent question, Ms. Brown. There are so many different reasons why we have digital portfolio. First of all is that it's just a wonderful place to house your documents. If you guys go to your Google Drive, and after like a couple months of going to Google Drive, like it's just a big list of all this stuff, just not very practical. Overwhelming. It's not very organized either. So if you take those documents and those pictures and stuff like that and put them into, you know, little compartments, a portfolio perhaps, um, it just looks really organized and really wonderful. And that way your teacher can go and find your old work, or maybe even other teachers can go and check out your work. Or grandparents can check out your work. True. Grandparents or um, also, I don't know, governing bodies over the school like WASC and stuff. WASC. Things like that. They went and checked out a couple of your guys' digital portfolios. So some really neat stuff. And by the way, when people really have their digital portfolios, they have a bunch of stuff on there. They look really, really good. So it's just really neat. Oh, I, also, I forgot one thing. Colleges. Yeah, don't you want to be able to show your college all the hard work you've done during high school? It's way more impressive to be able to show them something than to just tell them about it. True story. So we're about to roll a video right now about digital portfolios. Enjoy. Enjoy. This is Digital Portfolios in Plain English. So here's college. And here's you. Eventually, you're going to get to college. But first, we have to get all of our work done. So let's see what we've been doing here at LVCP. We've been making some catapults, some essays, some PowerPoints, and some movies. All sorts of great stuff. We want to put all of these things into a place that the college can get to. So this comes up to a digital portfolio. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to your Google site. 
here. So you're going to click on Google Sites up here at the top, and then you're going to click Create. This is going to bring up a wonderful window that looks like this, and you're going to go ahead and right here, type in the name of your site. That's going to include your name of some sort. Then you're going to click on Select a Template to Use, and you're going to browse the gallery for more. That's going to bring up a nice little window that's going to look something like this. You're going to click on the LVCP Student Digital Portfolio Template. And when you click on this and you create your site, it's going to bring up a wonderful thing like this. And you're going to go in and you're going to fill in all the names to your classes. Now, let's see how this works in the real world. You have all these wonderful um, projects here. And you have all sorts of things that we're working on at this school, being prepared for college and acting responsibly. We want to make sure that we, let's say if you're doing a project in geometry, you're going to think of that as a nice little catapult there. And you're going to take your catapult and put it on your digital portfolio. And then write a nice little reflection about how you did on that wonderful catapult there. Okay, the idea here is when you're showing your digital portfolio to somebody else, they're going to think, hey, that's pretty cool. Or even better, when you get to college, that college is going to think, wow, that's pretty cool. Yes. All right, Night of the Arts is on December 11th, which is a celebration of all that is happening at LVCP, artistically speaking. Drama showcases their work, while digital photography and urban art displays their, display their work as well. Choir Club will also show up on that day to sing for us. So come join us, Hawks, and support your school. Today in advisory, you will be doing whatever your advisor wants you to do. And on that note, advisors, advisors, if you have an issue with the bird call, please do not complain to your advisory. Email Mr. Dean at cdean at lvcp.org. Okay, have a great day, Hawks. Digital portfolios.